What up, Dokoners? Welcome back to Tsunami for another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. As you can see on the screen, I got in the top 1% for Chain Battle. It was a little touch and go for a little while, but I was able to luckily escape with a top 1%. Throughout the entire week, actually, on this Chain Battle, I was cruising at 1%. I had 101 million, I think from the first night or the second night, and I was at the top, 1%. And then on the last, no, the day before the last day, I dropped down to 2%. And I was a little worried. I was in scramble mode. So I had to, I mean, honestly, it's not like there was any skill involved. I just got lucky. I got good uh, loadouts and I got good selections. And then I was able to pick the three Vegetas and get it done. So it doesn't matter how I did it. Point is, I got the top 1%. And the reason why I care is because always, always, stickers. Stickers. That, that's a big difference. One sticker extra. And I need that. Also, it's always nice to have all these Pepsis because more opportunities to get good skill orbs. I haven't had a good, real good additional skill orb in quite some time. I think the best that I've had was a three a couple of times. But I have not had a level five additional maybe since the beginning of Chain Battle. Um, and then, of course, orbs are great too. So done here um let's let's check what the end what the final score ended up being something crazy like 140 yeah 136 136 i mean i've, I've been seeing this name everywhere that guy's the mvp for a lot of people's top scores so if you're uh, if you're out there hit me up all right bud so yeah let's pick up these rewards and let's go do some skill orb summons let me go check that real quick uh, anything here that I need? Oh, let me buy that. Buy that. And buy that. Alright. Now, let's go get some skill orbs. Seems like I'm not able to crack the 12,000 mark anymore. Before, I was able to get 12,000 of these Pepsi logos at the end of each cycle of Chain Battle. I don't know why, but the last few times I've been falling short. I don't know if it's because sometimes I just don't pick up all of the Pepsis like in the menu because there is a thing that would pop up right here, right? That tells you people are liking your your support line or they're using it. And I guess sometimes I'm missing it, but that's not nearly enough to accommodate for 400 lost Pepsis. I don't know. So that is kind of annoying me. I don't know if you guys have noticed the same sort of drop off in amount of hey, oh man, we got some good okay, we got some good goals. That's for sure. That, those were really good. We got we got an attack. We got a combo one. So honestly, the combo ones have been kind of shafts. Like they seem like they're good. Oh, we got additionals across the board. So I'm, I'm betting you for this one. Let me see this. Additional uh, defense boost plus two. Oh, additional plus two. Okay. All right, that's actually a pretty decent one. That's gonna go really well with a stacking unit that stacks defense. So that's actually a pretty good one. Then we got two basic additionals, bronze. Okay, I'll take that. Just, the more additionals, the better. Okay, we're, we're actually getting pretty lucky with these gold skill orbs. It's just that these random ones, like the attack and the muscle, or whatever it is, attack and super attack bonus, I'm not, I don't really use those. Now, I'm not an expert on skill orbs, so it's not like it should matter. But in, in my humble opinion, there we go. In my humble opinion, it just seems like those types of skill orbs are better suited for maybe some negligible third string free to play unit that you wouldn't typically use. All right, we got another additional but it's a level 1. Eesh. You know what I mean? So I feel like if I could just get honestly like I would exchange all of these ah oh! level 1 additionals. I would exchange all of these for like three additionals at the drop of a hat. If that's if that's what it took, I would do that. Okay, here. Are we getting a level 2? Nice. We're getting a level 2. For the additional level three for the super attack boost. Dang it, dude. Alright, so we still have yet to receive a level three or higher for the additionals. And it looks like it's gonna stay that way. I don't think we're gonna get lucky. Oh! Okay, level four on the int. That's good. I'll take that. I can't think of any unit off the top of my head on the int side that I need a level four additional for, but I'll take that. Oh, these level ones are driving me crazy. Let, let me show you all the skill orbs that I have left. I actually have quite a bit. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh! Okay, level 4 STR, great. This one, skill orb, combo attack, plus 2, crit, plus 3. I'll take that. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. And then the finale is going to be just 6 of these. 
So let's pick these up. Can we get one more gold in there? Oh, we did, for level one. All right, let me show you what I've got now. So these are the skill orbs that I have. These are the golds. So the ones that I'm really excited about, this one's probably the best one that I got the entire run. Additional plus two, crit plus three. Um, as far as golds go, that's about it. And then I have another additional plus two, plus some defense. So I don't really have much else to really brag about. All of these, dude, like these, I'm never gonna put this on like a top tier unit. I'm probably just gonna dump that on a free to play. Just someone who could use a little bit extra defensive maneuverability or something like I those those types of skill orbs drive me crazy. On the on the okay on the silver side the AGL looking pretty good with the crits. A bunch of super attack pluses, a bunch of additional not additional but dodges and defense boosts. And then for the bronze, of course the usual. Let me switch to somebody else. There's actually oh yeah let me let me check Int. I think Int is where I'm getting some good additional action. So let's take a look here. So that's the gold. Yes. Oh, we have a level 5 int additional. Oh my god. A level 4 int additional. A level 3 and a level 1. And then, do we have a couple? We Dude. Okay, so I actually have a unit now that is poised for some really good additionals. If I can find one that needs it. I don't think any of these guys actually need it. Well, this guy might. Oh, he already's got it. Okay. Um, who would maybe need that? I guess I'll just hold off for now. Maybe this guy? I'll have to look into it. Actually, you know what? Maybe the good... Oh, good Jesus already got it. Yeah, I'm going to have to take some time to look at it because I think my int now is looking pretty good. So that is that for the skill orb summons. But, but, for nostalgic purposes, I thought that I would do this because a couple of people have recently been commenting on a video, a very particular video that a lot of you may not be aware of. <laughs> it's the very first video on my channel. Now, I don't know why you guys are suddenly looking at it, but you guys are, and I've noticed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna watch my video. I'm not gonna watch the whole thing, but I am going to essentially react to it. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting to do this so soon. I kind of thought this would be something that happened later on down the road. But given that a lot of you guys are commenting on this, or I'm just like getting little hits on it, I don't know why, I'm just gonna watch it. And, uh, Cringe alert. Letting you know right now, the cringe factor is up to 11 on this one, okay? So prepare yourselves. Let's go. That's my intro. Hasn't changed. That's still the same intro. Hey, what up, Doe Connor? Oh! Welcome to. Oh, so awkward. I can't do this. Do the video. Oh. Hey, what up, Doe Connors? Uh, welcome to the video and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, this is Toon Rami, and this is my very first video exploring Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Dragon Ball Z. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the video. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Toon Rami, and this is how I sound because I'm high. Battle. So, welcome to. You don't expect. You don't expect that voice after this. Do you? Ah, ugh. Hey, what up, Doe Connors? Welcome to the video and welcome to the channel. Oh. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Toon Rami, and this is my very first video exploring Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Z so Dokkan. sit tight, because we got some news to get to regarding the upcoming Dokkan Clash. Oh. Ultimate, uh, virtual Ultimate Dokkan Clash, however you want to call it. I, I, will, I will tell you this. For these videos way back in the day, I dropped a video, I think, once every two or three days, which gave me a lot more time. And this is back when I didn't know anything about editing. I was teaching myself how to do stuff. My my thumbnails were all me. <laughs> uh, the, the videos were all me. But, like, the editing just took so long because I was doing it from a laptop with no graphics card. So rendering out, like, a 10-minute video took, like, four hours. Um, rendering... Like a 30 minute video took literally eight or nine hours. It was it was pretty rough. And then for things like this, I was just putting together slides and trying to basically do my videos with slides. Um, but dude, look at these <laughs> look at these thumbnails, man. This is my first one. It's not even a thumbnail. It's just it's just a picture from DeviantArt, and then I just put some text over it. Look at how look at how great it is. Can you even read that? Ninth virtual Dokkan's McClash. You cannot read battle prep. I know it's battle prep, but you cannot read that it's battle prep. So I did this where like, 
I would do a prep video for chain or for the Ultimate Clash. Then I do the actual video instead of streaming it. But I mean, I couldn't stream back in the day because I was just starting the channel. This, you know, what's funny about this one. This was actually my favorite thumbnail for the longest time because it just looks really cool. It kind of gave me like a Nike commercial kind of vibe. Plus, it was the first time that I learned how to do silhouettes, <laughs> so I was really excited to have done that. Everything you're seeing here, I, I had taught myself. So like, you can notice the steady progression. I got more and more bold with my video ideas and my thumbnails and stuff. Uh, like, look at here. I made an infinity gauntlet. It, it, it got pretty high tech, folks. It, it got pretty high. Look, I mean, look over here. We got the Smash Bros layout with the Omega Shenron in there. And then here I use the... So this one, okay, I swear. No one's going to believe me, but I actually did not copy Nano. I really thought this up myself. And the reason why I can say that with confidence is because notice how on the right side, the Jiren is grayed out. It's because he died or something. I, I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but like I made a conscious decision to do this because I wanted to make it look like a, like a Pokemon team. And then I realized later on that like other Dokkan tubers had done that. Anyway, this is supposed to be reacting to my own video. Let me just keep going. Look, this is really cringe and I can't handle this. So that's why I'm trying to talk about other stuff. So let's, let's keep going. Battlefield. The ninth iteration is hitting global uh, uh, very shortly. Uh, so I thought that for my first video, I would do some battle prep uh, to just go over the roster of who we're going to be facing. Okay, talk about um, it. Some approaches to the game and how you can best prepare for... You know what's funny? He hasn't stuttered once. Or I haven't stuttered once. Why did I just say he? I haven't stuttered once. Because when I was doing these videos, I had a lot more time to just think out my sentences. <laughs> and I was just more... I was more slow and thorough. So, yeah, the the stupidity factor really kicked in later on, didn't it? Yeah, the, the, that right. wasn't so much apparent here over here. The fights that you're going to have coming up. So let's just jump into the roster itself and take a look. <laughs> uh-oh levels, th yeah! Look at that. Uh-oh levels. See, this is my expert analysis, right? The higher the uh-oh value, the more faces there are, right? This first one's a gimme. These were all, you know, increasingly more dangerous. But this guy, oof, he was tough early on. This is more like a beginner's guy. I like it, though. I like but it. We've got two enemies in stage one. We you won't believe how long it took me to do this, though. Photoshop? Oh, this took me forever. Because I was learning how to do all this. Putting emojis, making it just one color. Oh, my God. You don't, you don't, you don't understand how much work was put into each video. That's why I needed three days, man. I needed three days to do this. We've got three in stage two and three. So... This is a bit of a breather from previous iterations of uh, Dokkan Clash. If you are a veteran Dokkaner, you know what I'm <laughs> talking about. Over time, each um, version of Ultimate Clash will expand uh, and in include more uh, enemies. Uh, 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 so we have just come off the seventh. Okay, stop talking. Stop talking. Seventh, let's, let's, uh, no, 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 no. Stop talking. There's a fist with. Oh, stop, stop it. Man, I, dude, <laughs> I ramble about these characters from like. One minute all the way until nine minutes, man. Eight minutes of content. You're welcome. And then, oh, the crown and glory right here. I named each team and I gave its own custom font and everything. See, this kind of innovation, you won't get this on any other channel, all right? Would you have ever thought that you would have seen an extreme SDR team called Team Sinister? <laughs> Karate Kids, I'm guessing that's an int youth team. You had to use physical units, so that makes sense, right? Physical attackers on the 19. Green pieces. Sure. Physical terror pists. Oh! Ah! Oh, what was I thinking? It works. Pure blue Saiyans. Deperp derps. Physical therapist. Oh, okay. Therapists were the evil ones. Therapists were the good ones. Superstars, like superstars. Oh, my God. End me now. End me now. Oh, bench teams. Hey, there you go. <laughs> bench teams. The Ginyu Bunch. AGL as... Whoop, Universe 7... Oh, wow. Great. <laughs> Everybody else had a nickname. Universe 7 didn't have a nickname. Things. I don't care about how... And then Beerus sucks. I guess, I'm guessing that was Universe 6. I hate this. When units I have left over to spare, I like to win and make sure that I win. So even if it means using Talk my with bench more personality. First, I like to do that. So here's my bench. Uh, the Ginyu Bunch. AGL as I'm not going to elaborate on that any further. You can I'm not going to elaborate on AGL as Loser! Out what that means. Universe 7. 
into dope. Strats and stuff. Use bench for early fights. Save better teams for higher uh-oh enemies. Category teams early, type teams later. These are true. If you guys have never played Ultimate Clash before, take notes, folks. Do yourself a favor. Don't watch this. Just take notes right here. <laughs> oh! Oh, the way I talk. Uh, I started just, in September me. of last year. So I don't have... Let's check out the outro, and then I'm going to do my outro. With, um, as far as my strategies and my approach. But stay tuned, because there will be more coming on Dokkan Battle. I will be doing a video for the upcoming Dokkan Clash, mm -hmm. uh, showing my oh, yeah. run of the various fights. Oh, yeah, okay. And if you enjoyed my video, then give me a like, maybe subscribe. <laughs> if you like my video, maybe give me a like. Please, that would be nice. And I'm very high right now. All right, that's enough, all right? Guys, uh, I'm done. Skill orbs, done. Uh, looking back at my first video, cringe. It hurts. Maybe I'll do more of these in the future where I look at other videos and we can roast me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I hate it here. Get me out. Just, just get me out. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments, wow. Notice the change in con, in just overall demeanor and attitude. Just crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Which one do you like more? <laughs> don't answer that. Oh, actually, please don't answer that. Let me know your thoughts on the skill orb summons. Were they good, bad? How were your summons? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more dope content in the future. Hey! Click the notification bell so that you let YouTube know you want to see more of my stuff. Do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned. I'm sorry for that. I gotta come up with other ideas, you know? Dokkan is great. Always remember to Dokkan responsibly. Hey, hey everyone. This is Tian Rami. I'm leaving now. Hey, hey, go ahead. Goodbye!